You are performing this repair at your own risk. You cannot be held responsible for any injuries to yourself or damage done to your device while attempting a repair. Our first step in replacing the battery will be to remove the back cover from your Zune HD. And we'll do this using a tri-wing screwdriver and remove four tri-wing screws. We can then remove the back cover by lifting it at an angle from the top. Now here we can see our battery. However, the solder points are located beneath the logic board. So we'll have to do some more dissecting in order to access those solder points. Next, we're going to need to unplug three cables from the logic board. They may already come out while removing your back cover but just in case, we'll show you here just how that's done. We'll wedge our case opener tool underneath each of the cables and gently pry upwards. And they will simply unplug from their respective ports on the logic board. Now we'll need to remove this small black plastic piece near the bottom. And we'll do this by sliding it slightly and then it'll lift right out. Our next step will be to remove three T5 Torx screws in the locations shown here. We now have one final T6 hex screw that will need to be removed. Now we'll use our case opener tool to remove this black insert around the sink port and headphone jack. We'll pry it towards the upward direction. Before we can remove the board, we'll have to pry up the headphone jack. And we'll do this using our small flathead screwdriver being careful not to tear the cable. And now we can flip the board to the side as shown in the video. The battery is still held in with adhesive, so we'll use our case opener tool to pry along the sides. Be careful, however, because the LCD screen is located just below the battery. Here we can see the three solder points for the three wires leading to the battery. Black, white, and red. Be sure to connect your new battery with the same wire color coding. We'll now want to heat each of these three joints to remove the wires individually. The remaining solder on the joints should be enough to install your new battery. However, it's not always the case, so you may have to apply additional solder. We'll now grab our replacement battery and solder each of the three wires to their respective points. Now we're ready to reassemble our Zune, and the first step will be to insert the logic board and battery in their original locations. 
one thing that should be noted is that you again want to be careful not to tear the fragile headphone jack cable. Once the logic board and battery are in place, we'll want to tuck this excess wiring in so that we can close the back cover without any issues. Next, we'll plug the three cables back into the logic board. Gently push down, and when the cables are in the right position over the port, they should plug right in. Now we're ready to reinsert the black plastic piece at the bottom of the zoom. And we'll have the logic board raised up slightly, put this over the sync port and headphone jack, and then slide this cover downward. We're now ready to insert our four Torx screws and we'll start with the one T6 located to the left of the headphone jack. Our next three screws are all T5 Torx screws. Next we'll reinstall the small black piece near the bottom. We'll allow it to overhang the bottom slightly and then slide it upwards. Next, we'll reinstall our back metal cover by slipping its tab underneath of the small black piece and pushing the top flush with the rest of the zoom. Our final step will be to reinsert our four tri-wing screws. For a full line of parts and services for this model, as well as a number of others, please visit our website, gadgetmenders.com. Thanks for watching.